This is PVA Blood. I'm going to show you how to make some over the top energy effects for your minis. This method will work for any faction, any game system, and at any size. To get things started, I'm going to demonstrate on these last generation Necron Warriors. These came out in 2005 and came with these transparent tubes that you put in their gorse flyers. Obviously this really limits your colour schemes and the lack of texture will become a problem if you paint them another colour. So I'm going to be making my own using wire from this wine bottle. Any old wire will do, although I found the wine bottle wire is my personal favourite as it's quite strong, reasonably malleable and already has a lots of twists and bends in the wire which just saves a lot of time in terms of sculpting. Disassemble them, use some hobby snips, cut them to size. You'll find that a single one of these little uh, wire stoppers will give you enough wire to do an entire squad of 10. There's a lot more here than meets the eye. Using different thicknesses of wire, different textures in the wire, no problem. I'm just using wine bottles and some wire that I use for just round the house fix up jobs. And these will become my gorse flares. You can see on this one, he's got a pretty thin layer of wire that I've folded over a couple times. Gives a nice energy effect. And this guy has just a single thicker strand. Both will look right when they're glued into place. Regular super glue will do. The exact same method I'm going to use with my Plasmancer. He came with the Indominus set, but he came with a broken finger. I tried to fix it, but the finger fell off, landed in the carpet. It's it's gone. It's just gone. So I'm going to hide it by adding some lightning. I'm just sort of bending the lightning to make it look like it's coming out of his hands, but also being generated from those weird tubes on his back. I'm super gluing them in place, but just using some off-brand blue tack, whatever tacky stuff to keep the wires in place whilst the glue sets. I added some additional wires connecting them all to each other and to more anchor points in the model, keeping it nice and strong, and used that same blue tack stuff to hold them in place while they set. When the super glue is all set, I'm going to come in with some PVA glue and just apply that at the contact points. The PVA glue will strengthen the hold but will also smoothen those joins and make them look organic. No hard edges. When the glue is completely dry, you can come in and apply two coats of Army Painter Electric Blue. Although, if you're perhaps painting some electricity coming out of your weird boy, or a psychic attack from a Tyranid Zonethrope, you'll want to change those colours to green and purple, whatever, respectively. Just make sure it's cool and you're having fun. Okay, next you want to dry brush the convex raised areas with a lighter colour. In this case, I'm just using white. This is going to represent the high intensity energy. On the opposite side to the raised wires, you're going to be adding some darker wash in those concave areas. In this case, I'm using Gilliman Blue Glaze, but this is just going to add further depth to the energy and you know highlight that this energy is perhaps pulsing or whipping around in an uncontrolled manner. This is the same technique regardless of the pattern of the wire itself or the model that you're using. So this will work for Necron weapons, psychic powers, whatever. Have that base color, have your dry brush, and then some wash. It's simple, but it is effective. Oh uh, yeah, I've got uh, videos on how to make the blood and the guts effects that you can see on the base of these models. They're all made from scratch and are also great for beginners. They're really easy. Check them out. Anyway, I'm also going to make a Volcano Cannon for an Imperial Knight. That's a plasma weapon, but I chose to use it for the Volcano Cannon. I just started with some wire that I took from a coat hanger, and I'm going to add the wine bottle wire to it, holding it in place with the blue tech stuff. I know it's green. And super glue it. 
You can see that I sculpted a little chamber and inside that I'm going to put that scrunched up twisted really fine wire you can see here. That's going to be like a, a ball or generated energy pulse that's coming out of the cannon. It's just messy and jammed inside. Super glue it. When the super glue is dry I'm going to come in with the PVA glue again and in this case I'm being really uh, generous with it just to hide the joins and thicken up the wire, make it look a little bit more, less uniform. When the PVA had dried, I of course primed it white because I'm going with a light color and then just applied this ultra cheap red paint to it. This is from a dollar store. You've seen it before if you watch my other videos. Just slap it on. I'm using a nasty old brush. This is simple. Now when that had dried, of course, I'm coming in with the white dry brush and I'm going to follow that dry brush with a darker red wash. Uh, pronunciation here, Karaberg Crimson Shade. I want this to look like almost sick. It's barely understood technology. Yeah, gnarly. In the barrel of this cannon, you saw that I drilled a little guide hole and it would just hold it in place. Really simple stuff, it's the exact same method for two very different armies. You can imagine the wide array of applications that this could have. Enjoy! Overcharging plasma guns, arcing electricity, shield generators, um, you know, energy swords, maybe a tower battle suit, charging in, having some fun. Maybe you've got a kit-bashed, homemade Necron Catan floating, you know, the Void Dragon has this same effect happening, except in this case I've sculpted it out of wire. Really easy way to just add some variation, something cool, a bit eye-catching. Thanks for watching, honestly, um, sorry that it took so long, but I reached 500 subscribers, which I'm honestly shocked about and really humbled by. Thank you for checking out my work, everybody. I probably should have done something a bit more exciting for 500, but it's got me thinking I should definitely do something for if I reach 1,000. Maybe I should do a, a giveaway or a special video. Feel free to put some comments down the bottom, giving me some suggestions. Um, seriously, though, I'm thinking about maybe giving away some of my really early terrain builds um, to some random subscribers on the channel or something. What do you think? Thanks for watching, honestly. Whether you're subscribed or not, it is just crazy and super humbling that you're here. Oh, and yeah, I've got an Instagram at PVA Boy and a Twitter at Trap Turtle. Just stick to the Instagram, Twitter is bad. Don't worry, boss.